All right, Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Bracha Kodash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ, Bahasham, is in the name of Kaha Kodash, is the Holy Spirit. And also Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Hashem Shai. And Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and sincerity. Shalom. This is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video to the spirit and power Yahweh Hashem Shai. And the title of this video, Lord willing, excuse me, the title of this video, Lord willing, is going to be They Think It's Strange. All right, because two thirds of our people. You know, they think it's strange that we're not, you know, uh, that we're not doing the folly that they're doing. All right, we're not celebrating our birthdays. You know, we're not smoking weed. We're not smoking black and miles. We're not uh, celebrating uh, Thanksgiving, uh, Halloween, dressing your children up as uh, these different Halloween characters. All right, celebrating Christmas. You know, they 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 think it they think it's strange, you know, that we're not following after these heathen heathen acts, man. All right, but coming to the, this knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, our true identity, all right, that was stolen from us, all right, because we discontinued from our heritage. All right, you know, let me actually start there. Jeremiah chapter seventeen, verse four says, And thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. All right. So we discontinued our, our heritage all right, from our identity of being a Hebrew Israelite, from serving the one and true only power. All right. And then we, we went uh, we went into the Gentile state, you know, acting like a heathen, serving these idol gods, man. All right. Following the ways of the heathen. Okay. You know, so we discontinued from our heritage and we started serving our enemy and we and we uh and we started to copycat our enemies, man. All right, and what did the Lord say in uh Jeremiah ten? Uh let me start at one it says Hear ye the word which the Lord Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel, you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It says, Thus saith Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed of them. All right, so learn not the way of the heathen, man. Okay? And don't get too caught up in these, you know, uh, uh, the different signs that, that the Lord is going to show in the heavens. Okay? All right? You know, so we can't follow after these uh, heathen uh, traditions, man. You know, these pagan holidays, man. All right, these pagan re uh, so-called religions, man. Okay, we only we only serve the one true God, man, which is uh, Yahweh Shah. All right, because these other uh, false gods, you know, Allah, Buddha, Jesus, all right, they're gonna lead you to your destruction, man. Only the one true power. Yahweh Bashim Shah is going to lead you to, to salvation. And let me get this here. First Peter chapter 4, verse 1. It says, For as much then as a Mashiach have suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin, that he no longer shall live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lusts of men, but to the will of God. All right. So we got to live after the will of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. All right. And Ecclesiastes 12 and 13, you know, our sole purpose is, is to keep the fear of the, fear the Lord and keep his commandments, man. All right. And we do that in captivity to the best of our ability, man. All right. Understanding the will of Yahweh Bashim al Shah and executing the will of Yahweh Bashim al Shah to the best of our ability, man. All right. No longer living after the flesh things that's going to please the flesh okay we got to do things that's going to please our spirit all right spirit spirit over flesh 
You know, yes, we're going to still do things that, are, that the flesh enjoys. Flesh enjoys eating. The flesh enjoys having sex. Okay? You know? Those things, you know, we can still enjoy ourselves in the flesh. Okay? You know, but we, we have to uh, feed our spirit uh, more than we feed our flesh. Okay? Reading, studying, listening to videos, going out to the highways and byways, doing your videos, man. Okay. All these things is feeding your spirit. All right. Fellowshipping with the brothers, man. All right. All these things is going to feed your spirit. All right. To keep, to keep you going in this spiritual walk. All right. Because you best believe this is a spiritual battle, man. All right. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Ephesians, the sixth chapter. All right. So it's, this, we're going through a spiritual battle. So you're going to have spirits trying to attack you, man. Okay. And, and, and what's our armor? All right, put on the whole breastplate, you know, put on the whole armor of the Most High, which is this word, man. This wisdom, these the precepts. All right, that was all. Those are things that's going to keep you stable, man. All right, verse four, verse three, First Peter four and three says, "For the time past of our life may suffice. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when we walked in lasc lasciviousness." Lust, excess of wine, revel, uh, reviling, or revelings, banqueting, and abominable idolatries, man. All right. So in our times past, you know, we was doing a will. Uh, we was doing the will of the Gentiles, man. All right. You know, we was chasing that American dream. All right. You know, we was, you know, putting all our our our. Our efforts into uh into, into serving the flesh, man. All right. Now we got to take that same mentality, and uh after the will of the of Yahweh Hashem Shah, you know it says we walked in uh, lasciviousness, okay, uh, lust, excess of wine, all right, a lack of immortal a uh, a lack of immortality, man. All right, no, having no spiritual, uh having no uh having no morals, man. All right, in this world, niggas out here they have no morals, man. All right, so that's why they sell their soul. You know, that's why when times get hard and they, and they going through a lot of stress, they going they going to smoke that blunt. All right, they going to smoke that black and mild so they can uh feel a uh, temporary satisfaction, man. All right? You know it <coughs> that goes into living the epicurean lifestyle, man. All right? But you got to live a stoic lifestyle, man. All right, knowing how to deal with your issue, deal with your issues, man. All right. It says uh, lust, excess of wines, reveling, uh, banqueting, and and abominable idolatries, man. All right, going back into these serving these idol gods, man. All right, because it feels good, man. Okay, because it's easy. Okay, serving the Lord isn't isn't easy, man. If it was, everybody would be doing it. All right, but serving the Lord, you know, you have to, you have to uh, cut off certain things that you that you enjoy in this life. All right, you have certain restrictions, certain rules that you have to follow when you serve the Lord, man. Okay, you have to be brotherly. You have to be chari You have to be charitable. All right, you have to treat brothers as you would treat uh, the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, man. You know, and a lot of a lot of men. All right, so-called men out here, they're not able to do that, man. All right, because they don't really have that that uh, masculine uh, or king mentality, man. All right, you know they 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 uh they worship women. Okay, the scriptures talk about all right, not giving your strength unto women, man. All right, not giving all your all into these women, man, because these women they want you to worship the ground that they walk on, man. All right, but that's idolatry, man. We only worship Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. It says, verse four. It says, wherein they think it's strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you, man. So they think it's strange. They looking us. They looking at us with that side eye, like, 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 uh, this nigga think he better than me. All right, he, he not eating no pork. Ooh. Who this nigga think he is, man? Okay, so they come with that. They come with that mentality, man, uh, because we're not doing the same folly as them. 
all right and they speak evil of us man all right you know they say that that we have a a, a the, they say that we're bigots all right hate speech okay but they said the same thing about Yahusha. They said Yahusha had a devil on him, man. Had a demon on him, man. So how, how much more us, man? Okay? The servant is not greater than greater than the master. So we're gonna see we're gonna receive the same the same uh scrutiny, you know, as as Yahweshah, the same criticism as Yahweshah. Let's see. You know? Let me actually get that servant. This is uh, St. John chapter chapter 15, verse 20. Uh, let me start at verse 18. It says, If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world will love its own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. All right? So the, this world is going to hate us, man, because we're not... And coming in that same vibration as them. All right. Our spirits aggravates their demons, man. So they're, they're going to come up against us, man. All right. But if we was of them, uh, you know, if we was of this world, all right, if we had these same demons on them as them, all right, then they'll love you. All right. Perfect example. You know, when you was in this world smoking weed, you know, all, all your homeboys, all your friends, they they going to fuck with you heavy. As soon as, you, as soon as you stop smoking weed and start serving the Lord, uh, uh, this nigga weird, you know? You know? Or he, uh, who this nigga think he is? He he, he, he always thinking that, uh, he always judging, always uh, thinking that he better than somebody, all right? You know, because your spirit aggravates the demons that's on them, okay? Verse 20, it says, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, this is in red letter. If they have persecuted me, it says, if they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sayings, they will keep yours also. It says, but all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they have it says, because they know not him that sent me. All right. So these people don't know the true power of Yahweh, Yahweh. All right. You know, so they, they persecuted Yahweh Shah, came up against Yahweh Shah, two thirds of our people. They're going to do the same thing to us in this time, man. All right. You know, so that's why you got to count the cost in this thing, man. All right. Think it not strange, man. Okay. The, uh, it also says, the fiery trial is to try you. Okay. Yahweh Shah went through. Uh, the greatest trial known to, known to man, all right? Dying for the sins of the nation of Israel, man. All right, so thinking not strange, you know, that, that you're going to you're gonna receive persecution, man. All right, they're going to bring you up, you know, to the councils, okay? The hour of temptation coming, man. All right, this world is, is this world is going to come against this truth, man. All right, but you have to trust in your how about Shemiel Shah that he's going to bring you through it. All right. So with that, you know, just a quick exhortation, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying to the, to the elect of the nation of Israel. I'm going to close and give all praise, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh, Baal Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Racha, Kodash, the honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David, to the next lesson I say Shalom and Ababa Baal Shalom.